Hello Crafties, welcome to another Knitting Wednesday. My name is Infinity and today I am here to show you guys how to knit the Caterpillar Stitch. So this stitch is a 12 row repeat and I absolutely fell in love with it um, whilst watching it and I'm just like, ah! So I, I would use this for like either a really cool scarf set or a sweater or something along those lines because it's just like, it's so cool and textured and fun. And so, um, working this stitch, you know, starting off, well, first things first, you're going to know the front side from the back side because the back side is going to look like all stockinette with some really messed up parts. Like, you know, you were beginning making, you know, your beginner making stockinette stitch and you kind of messed up in some spaces. And then the front side actually has the, um, the little caterpillars, the little stitches that are forward which is actually that little messed up space. So it's like a little weird little rib style stitch, I would say. But anywho, without further ado, I'm going to get started. Uh, when I begin, I do want to say I hold my yarn slightly differently than other knitters. So if you need to find another tutorial, feel free to do so. Just be nice about it. Alright? Now let's begin. Alright. So to get started, we're going to cast on in multiples of six. Um, I'm not going to bore you with that if you don't know how to cast on. I do have some beginner tutorials, but we're going to cast on in multiples of six, and then we're going to add two. Okay, so I have cast on a total of 20 stitches, so I will actually have 18 stitches within my pattern, which is just like my swatch. So I'm going to go ahead and work my selvage stitch. Um, as I've said in the past, I like to knit that. Oops, I'm going to knit it. But you can work it in any way you'd like. Alright, now we can begin the pattern. So we are going to start off by knitting one. And then we're going to purl five. So we're going to bring that yarn forward insert our needle from the front. We're just going to purl. One. Two. Three. Four. Bring it back because we're going to knit one. I'm going to bring the yarn back forward because we're going to purl five. And this is essentially the repeat for row one. And now I am going to knit my selvage stitch to complete row one. So row one looks like this. It's not much to it yet, but it'll get there. Now on to row two. Alright, row two, I'm gonna work that end stitch right there. I'm just gonna knit it. Alright, so row two or the even rows, basically the back side or the wrong side of the stitch. Um, you are going to be doing basically the reverse of what we did for row one. So we are going to be knitting five and purling one. So I'm going to go ahead and start the pattern, just knit my five. One, two, And now I'm going to come 
bring my yarn forward and I'm going to purl one. And I'm going to just repeat that all the way across this row. going to finish off the row with a purl one and then I'm going to knit my end stitch now on to row three all right for row three we are going to be repeating row one so we're going to go ahead and work that end stitch And then we are going to start knitting one. Sorry, bring that yarn back. We're going to knit one. And we're going to purl five. and five and then we're going to knit one we're going to go back to purling Five. I'm going to bring my yarn back for that one knit stitch. And I'm going to bring it forward again to do those last five purls. And the last one, five. I'm going to bring my yarn back and we're going to knit that end stitch. Alright, so we're on the right side right now. And as I've said before, if you have difficulty, you know, determining which side is the right side, 
you can always just stick a stitch marker where you need to like in the front of your pattern when you first start and that'll kind of help you determine that um, so so far you can kind of see the little stockinette pattern coming up here we have two of them right now working on a third one as we move into row four so basically row four is going to be a repeat of row two and then row five is going to be a repeat of row one and then after that the pattern changes up just a little bit so I'll work rows four and five off camera and then I'll meet you back so we can rows four five and six actually and then I will meet you guys back when we get to row seven alright guys so I got to row six and this is what you should have you should have your little lines of stockinette on the front um, like I said if you have trouble identifying the front versus the back um, you can tell most definitely the back is like a wonky stockinette and then the front you have these forthcoming lines of stockinette um, stitch surrounded by like garter so we're gonna move on to the second half of the pattern so for row seven we're gonna do something slightly different because we need to make those offset little lines so we're gonna go ahead and work that selvage stitch and then our pattern for our odd rows now is purl 5, knit 1, purl 2. Our pattern now for the odd rows are purl 3, knit 1, purl 2. So what I'm going to do is bring my yarn forward and we're going to start purling. I'm going to zoom out so you can see. Pearl one, pearl two, pearl two, and pearl three. Then we're going to bring that yarn back for that knit one. bring it back forward for our purl two. One, and two. All right, so now we're gonna start that again and we're going to purl three. So, one, two, Bring it back for that knit one. Bring it forward and we're going to purl two. we're going to repeat that one more time for this row. So, we are going to purl three. Two. Oops. And there we three. And we're going to bring this yarn back. We're going to knit one. Then we're going to bring it forward and we're going to purl the last two. So one and two. And we're going to work that end stitch and move on to row 8. Okay, row 8. Row 8 
it's basically going to be the kind of reverse of row 7. So I'm going to go ahead and work that end stitch. And we are going to be knitting two. One, two. We're going to be purling one. And then we're going to knit three. One, two, three. Okay. And we are going to repeat that pattern all the way across this row until we reach the end. Okay guys, so row 8 is finished and we are moving into row 9. So row 9 is a repeat of row 7. So that is again purling 3, knitting 1, purling 2. So I'm going to go ahead and work that selvage stitch, which is a knit stitch for me. And then I'm going to bring my yarn forward and begin to purl. And three. I'm going to move my yarn back so I can knit my one. And I'm going to bring my yarn back to the front so I can purl my last two for the repetition. So I'm going to continue my repetition of purl 3, knit 1, purl 2, all the way to the end of row 9. And I'm going to leave the written pattern either at the bottom or to the side of the screen for you guys to continue on. And then after we finish row 9, we'll move on to row 10, which is a repeat of row 8. And then row 11 is a repeat of row 7 or row 9. And then, of course, row 12 is a repeat of row row 8 or row 10. So I'll meet you back when I have completed the swatch. Alright crafties, as you can see I have knitted up the rest of my um, rows for this repetition and have has thus completed the 12 row repeat. So, you know, I'm ready to cast off. I hope today's tutorial was helpful to you all. If so, Leave me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below letting me know how I did. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you never miss out on awesome weekly content like this. I post knitting tutorials every Wednesday at 9.30 Central Standard Time. Also, don't forget to check out my other social media. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, etc. So, um, yeah. Until next time, happy making.